Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Carry On with just one carry on back and no matter what happens, we will carry on to show you the lesser known destinations all around the world. Now we've been to Thailand, we've been to Sri Lanka but this week we are going on a foodie road trip from Singapore to Malacca to KL all the way to Ipoh in our fully electric vehicle the Hyundai Ioniq 5 that is proudly manufactured in Singapore. Behind the camera, we've got Shah, Gaius, and of course, we have to bring back our Singkang camping expert, Nina Tan. So, we are gonna drive through Malacca, have Nasi Kandar at KL, and then we are going to explore a beautiful resort in Ipoh, and then we're going camping. Are you ready? Welcome to our foodie trip with the Hyundai Ioniq. So we are under Nina's blog and I'm very excited to show her this car because did you know Nina used to sell cars so she's actually a car pro. So let's see if this impresses her. Wow. 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 Have you upgraded or what? Yeah. <laughs> are, you like, are you like how impressed? Wow. We must be doing damn good. Huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. No doubt we are doing right. that good. Nina, this is the Hyundai Ioniq 5. Full EV. Nice. Fully manufactured in Singapore. Wow. How proud are you to be Singaporean? I am very patriotic, right? So like, I'm very proud. <laughs> okay, wait. I'm gonna sh this is the exact situation I wanna show y'all. So ladies, right? Not say I'll say, but y'all like carry a lot of things. So uh -huh. I show you, okay. Uh -huh. This car, right, is inspired by a smart living room. Okay. So you see how uh, you see how uh, you come here, you come here. Sha, 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 you come here. So one of the things we can do, I'll go the other side. Nina, is this island for you to put your things? Like, I can just move it and then you have the hooks. Oh my god! Come in. This is perfect for romantic set. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the other part. Hey, you clearly have more experience in that. Yeah, it's for romantic. Ah, who? Is that you? Oh, oh yeah. Look, look. Can... Look at this. Oh my god! This is perfect. You know what's even more perfect? Yeah. Like, so if my boyfriend. Imaginary boyfriend is driving. I can put my leg over. <laughs> okay, wrong demo. Huh? Wrong demo. No got passport. Eh? No leh. No. Don't have it. No passport. What else? Yay! Yeah. We are going into the Malaysia cast or Singapore cast. Um, then we will go to the Malaysian cast up. They're taking video of us. Hi. I told you that. Uh, you are so, so famous. famous. No, that will help by eh. <laughs> wow, <coughs> they are paparazzi us at the customs eh. Oh, and it's a, it's a Malaysia car. Yeah. Oh my god, we made it! We, we made, made it! it across <laughs> borders! Oh my god, we made it across borders eh! Yeah, later we are having like a whole fan meet and greet from KL to Ipoh. It's a, actually a fan tour. Oh, I love that. Yeah, let's guess how many people will turn up. Like maybe five? <laughs> <laughs> Because we are in Malaysia, mm -hmm. I'm gonna pay homage to Dato Siti Norhaliza. Okay, hit it. Cintaku bukan di atas kertas. Cintaku getarang yang sama. Tak perlu dipaksa, tak perlu dicari. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. Wow, you gave some really Not bad, right? R&V vibes. R&V vibes. <laughs> you gave me, you gave me your all. Tata City, I love you! We finally made it to our first pit stop, Hokkien Bakute. Hokkien with an A. A. Yeah. Mm. So we were actually going to look for prawn cracker noodle, mm -hmm. but we arrived too late. 
So we were just like, we want to eat bakute, let's do it. How do you find the food? Amazing. Right? Yeah, and it's like not a lot of people. Yeah. But then the food is so good and apparently it's all homemade. Yeah, she really homemade everything. Mm. And the bakute in particular, right? It's like the moment you put your put it in your mouth, it's very big. It's very, very bold. It's like very short, right? I might nose bleed later on. <laughs> <laughs> As a Teochew pepper bakute lover, mm -hmm. this is really pulling me to the other side. What side is it? The Malaysian herbal bakute side. Right. Yeah. So we are also having uh, mayo tea, which is not bad. Nanu zaro. And then we're having kidney and liver. And then we're also having yam rice. And their yam rice is very fragrant. The hebi yeah. taste is very strong. Okay, so Malaysian bakute or pepper bakute? As a patriotic citizen of Singapore, I always choose the Singapore option. But they're putting on a good fight. We must say, we must say. So are you not patriotic? Do you not love Singapore? The car is already fully made in Singapore. We've made a pit stop at a high performance charging station at Shell because on a full battery, this car can go for about 500 km, but our journey to Ipoh is more than 600 plus km, so we just wanted to be safe. And with fast charging, right, you get 10 to 80% in 18 minutes, which is very good for me because after this, I need to use my laptop, I need to make coffee, so we want to make sure you have that battery. Full charge in 35 minutes. Let's go. So I'm not kidding when I say this is really a smart living room because there's an indoor V2L which means you can power up anything with a 3 pin plug. Look, I'm not even kidding. Look, my laptop is being charged right now. And I gotta get back to important business. Business. I'm a businessman. Our second pit stop before we go to Ipoh is actually in KL. And I knew I wanted to eat Nasi Kanda. So I asked you guys on Instagram, Where's a good nasi kanda place? This place, Kudu Bin Abdul, is the most voted and recommended by you guys. So, we're gonna try. But before that, let me just share some interesting facts about nasi kanda. So like, kanda actually means rice carried on the shoulder. Huh? So, in the beginning of time, right, nasi kanda was served with a, a rod and then two like basket and then they hold oh. yeah. So that's how Nasi Kanda came about. Never knew. So everyone keeps asking like among this group right, like what's the difference between Nasi Padang and Nasi Kanda? Okay, so right, Nasi Padang origin from Indonesia, whereas Nasi Kanda originated from Malaysia, specifically Penang. Wow! Wow, I got study there! <laughs> Like I go order food, come back, suddenly she's like the Malaysian scholar of the century. I ordered the ayam goreng for myself and uh, ayam sambal for Nina and they have ikan telur which is the egg of the fish. I My... love this. Eh. Oh, I love it also. Yeah, it's very hard to find in Singapore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Very strong <laughs> It's really up and constantly actually. Compared to a typical nasi parang store in Singapore, the nasi kandar curry, right? It's super aromatic, mm. super fragrant, super mm. spicy also. Yeah. Uh, okay, so I've tried lime clear nasi kanda before and I feel like the ayam goreng there was like way crispier. This one's like kind of flat. Yeah, how about yours? However, I do think that if you are travelling up to Ipoh or even further, right, this could be a place where you can do a stop, mm. have a good hearty meal over here and then continue your journey from there. Right? Yeah. <laughs> So as mentioned, I told you line clear, the last time I tried was better. Okay, you clear, uh, you clear yourself. See, you got the... Not Lao Hong one. Yeah, I think that was not very satisfying. It was passable. Yeah. But you say that this is very promising, right? Yes. So, okay. I've got am Goreng. I also have Bitter God, fried Bitter God. And we've got vegetables. Let's Can I do also it. point out, right, that they actually serve like proper chilli here. Yeah, look. Yes! Right? This is the one. You try the chicken now. It's not dry and it's seasoned well. Right? Oh, do you hear that? I'm not. Yeah. Right? This is it, right? This is the spot. Somehow the curry here, right, is not as overpowering. This curry and the sauces feel a little bit more suited to be eaten with rice. Mm. Mm. 
Okay, also right, there are a lot more um, dishes that you can choose from. And this place also sells like other like mama store dishes lah, like prata, stuff like that. Eh? Wow, of course this extra woman. <laughs> what is this Shah? You can finish or not? I don't know, I just felt like eating tissue prata, so I ordered. I didn't know it's so tall. Singapore is like like that. Wow, this is not just tissue eh. This is... This is a tower. <laughs> yeah. I want to see how she does it. I want to see how she does it. It's supposed to be crispier. Can you just take the whole thing like a no, cone and eat it? Yeah, oh! oh my god! Oh! Now that is how you eat. No. That's how you eat, basically. Wait, so we are gonna go camping and eat durian? I hope so. I'm also gonna be making you breakfast. No, come on. <laughs> What's with that reaction? Really? You're gonna make me breakfast? Out of this car, some more. No way, come on! No, I'm serious! That's, too, that's a stretch, you know. You making breakfast, number one. You making breakfast out of this car. What you gotta do? Like put it on the roof and fry the egg or what? Cause the weather's been really hot lah. <laughs> you just wait. You just wait. Purple rain, purple rain. And I set fire to the rain. Watch it fall as I touch your face. Well, it burns your eyes and eyes. They may not name. Your name. Our next foodie stop is a place called Restaurant Tong Hao. And I don't know if it's like a Malaysian zhicha thing, right? But it feels like every Malaysian zhicha has their own specialty dishes, right. yeah. you know? For this particular restaurant, right, the specialty is that it has some Taiwanese dishes as well because yeah. the boss is Taiwanese. Yeah. We ordered one of their specialties as well, which is uh, the river prawn. This is steamed river prawn with egg white. So look at it, right? Oh my god. And then it's just like the butter. Is that what you call it? The prawn butter. Oh, cool. Damn creamy. It's not just any prawn. Eh? Huh. This is river prawn. So this is the one that comes with all these spare parts, <laughs> right? You know? Exactly. Very hard to find in Singapore at the car store, though. Mm. Good stuff. The pork stuff is pretty good as well. We're having pork belly and we're having zhu jiao and eggs with shrimp. If you're in the area, highly recommend. After another long drive, we are finally here at Camp Luying. And Luying apparently means... Camping! So we are at Camping Camp. 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 <laughs> I'm not a big fan of camping, but the weather here is great. It's Aircon temperature, like 20 plus. Eh. Yes. Yeah. But I heard that you're not sleeping in the tent. Why? Ah? Yeah, so I've got my own arrangement because mm -hmm. I need an air mattress. Not wow. trying to be a diva. Uh huh. So I'm going to be sleeping in my Hyundai Ionic 5. It's yeah. a what? Single mattress? Later I will show you the arrangement because I don't think I can sleep. In a, sure, yeah. sure. So yeah. I'll show you, I'll show you. Also. Wait, this is made for the car. Yeah, so the mattress is to the exact specifications of when the back seat goes down. Yeah, it's perfect for the car, but you just need to pump it. Lah. By the way, these are genuine accessories, yeah, so it's like legit, specific for the car. Make this. Make this. Next for this. A face of jealousy. Look how perfectly this mattress fits. Every corner, done deal. Let's do a bit test. Okay, you go first. Wow. I've tried before already, so I'll see your reaction. Oh my god! Oh my god, that's the view somewhere you can see oh. outside! Oh! Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 Wow. Don't know we're selling car or mattress <laughs> right now. <laughs> mattress? I think we're selling mattress now. Right? <laughs> to, to have the mattress, Just you need to have the car. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, we'll see. We'll see. Buy one mattress for Okay, fun. thank you, ma'am. Close the door. I'll okay, see you. Good Please door. get out. No, no okay, get out. You can go back to your glamping. No, 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 no. Need. You suffocate. We leave it open, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Alright, it's time to sleep in this glamping situation. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.
Good morning! I can't say it was like the best sleep in the world but it's fine. So as promised, I'll be cooking Nina breakfast. Yes, I said cooking. Yeah, I'm not one of these noob campsites which has no electricity. I actually have electricity so I'm gonna make a coffee out of my coffee machine. <laughs> Time to wake Bina Tan up. Good morning, Bina. <laughs> Hi, Sleeping Beauty. Guess what? I made breakfast. Let's go. Hurry up. I literally cooked a breakfast I cooked from the car. Good morning, Bina Tan. As promised, I have made you breakfast. First, Fresh coffee from the coffee machine. Wow. Wow, you feel it. You're nursing home or what? <laughs> is this what, what, the hospice or what? Wow, it's still hot. And I've made onions and mushroom scramble with toast and fresh fruits that require no electricity whatsoever. Okay, you made the, the eggs from scratch? Yeah, I laid, I hatched them. I beat them wow. and I made them on this electric cooker. Nice! And I know you're asking me with electric cooker. Yes, you heard me say electric. That's because our Hyundai Ionic 5 has a feature called V2L where you can plug in your three pin plug straight up to the electric cooker. Whoa! Yeah. yeah I did not see the three pin plug <laughs> at all. Eh. I yeah. thought like this is meant for the car one. Then no, yeah, plug. right? Isn't that cool? So my uh, Nespresso was powered by this and then the cooker also. Yeah. Uh, uh, curious, how was your, your camp, campsite? Okay lah, so basically right, I think the moment you travel up here right, you're tired enough to just tour. Okay. Yeah, so at night it was a little bit cooler, mm -hmm. very very chill. Yeah. Uh, within the tent itself, they provided lights, they provided fan, they even pro provided like a sleeping mm. bag for you so that you, you don't feel so cold. Yeah. Toilet wise, passable. Yeah. Like better than what I expected. It was not bad. Yeah. And um, my sleep was great. Nice. Yeah. So that was great. Not hearing air mattress, not hearing electricity, electric cooker, coffee machine, which is fine. All right, taste test. There can be electric cooking, but is the cook good? Excuse me. Damn salty. <laughs> Like you try to get me, like I wake up with water retention Then like you try to help me to retain the water retention or what? I feel like you are just trying to put me <laughs> It's perfectly sweet, I don't know what you're talking about I don't I feel like you are just trying to put me and my amazing appliances yeah, you down You know like I'm watching you right, you are eating and swelling at the same time <laughs> That's what I get it. <laughs> So after a two hour drive, we are finally here at Ipo. Never come here before. Never been here, yeah. but you exit the busy city life and then suddenly a lot of limestone formations. And then we came straight to our accommodation and oh my gosh, welcome to the Banjaran Hot, Hot Springs, Springs Resort. Retreat. Retreat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally there retreat. and it says retreat. retreat. Yes. I'm very very overwhelmed by this place. I have never been to a retreat before with the meditative cave, the yoga like pavilions, yeah. with the random hot springs yeah. just on your left and right. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is like walking into a very luxurious forest. Mm. It's like Jurassic Park. There's some moments where we were like, is this a movie set? And all of this in Ipoh, who would have thought? Definitely like you, wouldn't have thought. You want to talk hidden gem, right? This is really like... It's a hidden lair. Wow. First impression of the room. Very impressed with the hot spring. Some places, right, you want to say like real onsen, it's not really the case. Mm -hmm. This is like water from the hot spring. 
yeah. channel into your room and you have your own private pool. Right beside it. And like this <laughs> villa, right, is huge eh. Don't even get me started on the toilet. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Two sinks. There's two, two sinks. sinks. Who? Why? Who, why, Never where? Mind. Who, what, where y'all do? Yeah. And then the balcony. Oh my god. You step out and it looks over this lake and then the huge limestone formation behind. So if you thought that room was amazing, we then had a tour of this garden villa. It's new and oh my gosh. Forget Bali. Mm, yeah, forget Phuket. Forget Phuket. Like, forget anything and ev anywhere that you've been before. It's, okay, the pool, the pool length. The dining space, the living room space, even, the master suite. Even the simplest thing like the chilling lounge. The, that, yeah. that, that alone. The bathroom. And then the, the hot spring here is even bigger. Yeah. And all the villas are actually quite far apart. So you get total privacy. Yeah. I think my conclusion is that honestly, worth the drive all the way up here. Oh. Just to be a part of this. You are yeah, so I'm right. Very overwhelmed. When it comes to hawker food, I only trust one person. Maureen Ao, Miss Tam Chia. So we, to, to get around today, we use her guide to Ipo and we found this place. It's called Nasi Ayam Pak Kong. Yes, we're having uh, half a pai tea, half a sao tea, sao ro, and of course chicken rice. The moment they put down the food, right? Mm -hmm. It's that kind of place where you know it's really going to be something. I want to, I want to hear what's your review on this. My review is, I love it. This is very, very chong kong It's very saucy. It's doused in sauce, you know? Yeah. But if I were to be like very, very stringent, right? Uh -huh. My only complaint is that I feel that the meat's a bit tough. There are places that do texture better. But the sauce is the hard carry for me. I, I love the entire combination of like everything. You? Hmm, interesting. I think that the sourdough is better than Singapore's. I haven't tried it, I haven't tried it. Try, try, try. Wow, sourdough very good. I have nothing to complain about. This place has been around for years and if you love chicken rice, pretty solid one. Mm. Better than Katong chicken rice. Oh. Are we creating a wall here or what? Yes. Do you know what? I, I suddenly remember Katong chicken rice at this. And I will say right, their sauce is now way too sweet. This sauce, but the soup cannot win lah. The soup cannot win ma. So our friend Cynthia recommended ice chendol kacang seda. So it's uh, uncle out of his truck and a lot of people actually just pull up on the side of the road and he'll just put the bowl into their car. You can have it in your car which is pretty shock. But we've come out to see how he's going to be making it. And the special USP is that he uses pulut in the chendol. Wow. <laughs> it's wow. wow. It's a wow. You know what's wow? The Gula Malaka. It's like the shining beacon of hope in this chendo. The moment you put it in your mouth, the Gula Malaka is saying, Hi, you have come to Ipo and I welcome you. That is very philosophical. <laughs> Personally, I think I enjoy the experience more than the, the chendo because I'm quite full. But I love this uncle, uncle, look at his uncle. <laughs> The uncle is always happy. Uncle does his work with passion by the road. And nothing is that. You can't find this in Singapore. Also the pulut, right? Everything to me in this bowl comes together to make the gula malaka shine. Gula malaka for president. No, no, no. Yes. For dinner, we are here at Restaurant Rasa Lion and oh my gosh, if you love seafood, we are having a clay pot unagi rice, we are having steamed clams, we are having crab tong fen soup, steamed fish and eggplant. Seafood here right, is done just a little bit different but you can still detect right, the Cantonese influences, so Rosalind will be very proud. Like the steamed fish, right, the Chinese wine is super strong and super fragrant. The dishes here are generally quite zhong kou wei, which is super up my alley and it's quite unique. So for example, like unagi clay pot rice with lap chong, like that's, I've never had that anywhere. And also the crab vermicelli, right, is smooth, the broth is clear, but it was really rich and super shook at the same time. And the eggplant, ladies and gentlemen, thanks to the topping, right, it becomes so addictive. So, I love me a good five-star resort, but nothing will hit the spot like a good zi so we had such a good dinner, but where were you? Uh, 
I was busy retreating here. Speaking of retreat, right? Mm. We're at the breakfast now, and this place really does things differently. You know when you go to a hotel or like a resort, the breakfast buffet is just chaotic energy max. Yeah, you start your day with a uh, anxiety. Yeah, like, <laughs> one, I'm like, sunny side up. Then, Scramble eggs. Yeah, then like, yeah, but over here, it, they really love their name because everything is just made to order. You order from a menu and the like help yourself section is like very basic things like juices that you can hand pick by yourself and you've got cereal, bread and there's also champagne. Wow, mimosa, what? Yeah, it's a bit too early for us for mm -hmm. champagne. <laughs> so, yeah. So there's an Asian selection, there's a Western selection. Basically, a lot of items on the menu. And even though it's not a physical buffet, you can just work the menu to yeah. become a buffet. Exactly, but always keep retreat in mind. Yeah. You're not supposed to overindulge as well. You are retreating <laughs> from food as well. Okay, so I'm now in one of the dippable geothermal hot springs. This is 40 degrees, but there are a few other pools here that's like 38 degrees. And you get this magnificent view of the hot spring behind. But this is not dippable because it's way too hot. Right now. Because we are in the steam cave. So this is a sauna in the cave. I've never been into anything like this before. Uh, but basically, the heat right is generated from here, the geothermal hot springs. And it is filling up this whole place with heat. What a crazy experience. Have you ever been to something like this? I have never been into a cave that is like Right. X as egg, yeah? Egg as a steam room. Yeah. But I'm looking forward to what's beside this. What because beside right this? beside this is? steam cave, right, it's an ice dipping pool. Okay, yeah. I've been here for very long. No, I also been here. I also been here for the longest since morning. I think it's morning. Guess only real athletes do this. So we are at Jeff's Cellar and again, this is a once in a lifetime dining experience. We are literally having a restaurant in a cave. But you know what's more incredible? Uh -huh. So it started off right, yeah. with him wanting a cellar here. Yeah, him is the him is the chairman. Yeah, that's sorry, the chairman wanted yeah. a seller here. Yeah. And then the next thing he you know he wants a bar too. Yeah, he's like, hey, I want some some drinks, yeah, some I bring bites. my friends over, yeah, right? Yeah. Why not? Yeah, and then it became a restaurant. So interesting fact. There's only four caves in the world, right? Mm. With restaurants integrated inside. Mm. Yeah, and out of the four, right, one is a 0.5 lah. Oh why? Yeah, because it's like halfway out one. <laughs> so we get the full experience yeah. of being in the cave right here. Yeah, and by the way, it's fully air conditioned. So you'll be like dining in perfect suboptimal temperatures. That's right. So if you dine here, there are two menus. One is the French inspired, one is the Malaysian inspired. So we are only going to be having the starters. Nice. Because I love you, but only like just a Just tip. a tip on you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll Whoa. 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 Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. 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 What? No, wow. wow. <laughs> Like, I don't even want to eat it. I'm not sure if I should eat it. It's so beautiful. Look at it. Wow, this is damn fitting to the team. Yeah, this right? This is that onsen, hot spring, yeah. cave, oh my, oh. stones. Wow. Right, wow. wow. I really poetry, this. poetry in food. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going for it. Wow. Okay, so you get like the nice salty umami from the caviar, the sweetness of the scallops, and then the sear on the scallop, right, has that nice layer of char. It's just a perfect bite of everything together. Yeah. With the water tripping down in the back. We need to come back for the whole menu. Not just one, no. Yeah. We have to try both. Yeah. Okay, you have my word. I'll be back. 
we'll yeah. be back. If not, if you got no time, you all come, then you all tell us. Yeah, correct. We are homebound now, but first, one last charge before we reach Singapore. Nina, what is your favourite part of the trip? I guess my favourite part of the trip will be um, driving up to Ibo, uh -huh. right? And then staying at Banjaran. Ooh. Because it's like a whole new sanctuary of its own after a long drive. Yeah. And within Banjaran itself, there's a lot of activities to do. And we even got to die in the cave. Exactly. And just like stone throw away, there's also a lot of good food around. Oh yeah, yeah. so you basically like to retreat. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> My favourite part is definitely driving around all of Malaysia to find food in this car. I think that's what you will find me doing, right? Whether the cameras are on or off. Yeah. A big thank you to Hyundai for partnering us for this video. And if you want to find out more about the Hyundai Ioniq 5 that is proudly made in Singapore or some of the genuine accessories that we use or even the high performance charging points all across Malaysia, all the information you need is in the description box. So, Ikan Bea, we off to next. We are going to you know, Alabama, like, although, Arkansas, Arkansas, the weather is very hot. Although the weather is very hot, right? Although the weather is very hot, ironically, oh. I would like to go to a hot country. Ionically? Ionically, I want to go to a hot country. Well played, well played. <laughs>